I cannot date a chick uh -huh. that don't understand why she posts a picture every day of her body. Because you can't tell me why you post. Mm -hmm. What's the purpose of it? Yes. So I understand up front that if you can't tell me why you post a cute picture of yourself, even five days out the week, mm -hmm. if you can't explain it to me, mm -hmm. then I can't date you. Mm -hmm. The reason I say that is because there's some people that use social media as a tool. Mm -hmm. And if you sell a like clothing line, mm -hmm. if you sell bikinis, yes. do your thing, boy. Right. Be great. Right. Make your coin. Mm -hmm. TikTok, let me tell you a little story about divorce. Now, shocking enough, I am divorced. My first wife, after having our three sons, decided, you know, it didn't work for her. And so she wanted a divorce. My response to that was, are you sure? She was like, yeah, yeah, you know, I just need you to help me get on my feet before you, before you let me leave. And I'm like, all right, well, you sure? Because there's nothing cute about being a single mom of three kids under the age of 10, especially when you're 30. Well, blah, 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 blah. I've been about some other dude and all that other stuff. And I was like, all right, cool. Now, of course, me being me, I found out who the other dude was because, you know, her phone line was on my bill. All I had to do was see whose number was showing up entirely too much. And I found out exactly who it was. And it turned out that it was somebody that I knew. Yep, we weren't friends. Not nah, wasn't one of my homeboys, but it was somebody that I knew from church. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. No. Yeah. So you have a car? So you can pay us. Well, <laughs> so I'm kind of convenient. So. Yeah, I know. Thank you. But you have a good day. Take yeah. care. Come get it you know, next time. Tell you that you're so beautiful. Thank you, I appreciate it. Like, what's your name? Israel. Nice to meet you. From out here? Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm from New York. I just moved out here. Nice to meet you. Michelle, Michelle. We should get to know each other sometime. I'm actually married. Married? But yeah. Maybe I can see Instagram. We just be cool. I ain't trying to. A few moments later. That's my Instagram. What's your personal Business. brand, bro? Oh, my personal. Yeah. It's Queen Living. Listen, if your wife. If your wife gives another man her Instagram, she's not loyal. I don't give a Okay, maybe the business one is cool because you got to promote your business. But if you give it, right or wrong, though? Yeah. If your girl... Hey, you saw this girl on Tinder. You swiping left or right? Left. Left, go ahead and swipe. You think other people will swipe left or right on you? Probably left. Why you say that? I just feel like I look kind of goofy sometimes. <laughs> Probably the most important thing and one of the best things you can work on developing in yourself is just to build up your confidence. I can respect this guy for being honest and saying how a lot of young men feel, especially when you're still trying to find yourself, figure things out, and you yet to be actually become the man that you're working towards being. That's exactly why building yourself up, accomplishing your goals, focusing on your purpose. That's why those things have so much value in a man's life and why they're so important. You just don't do those things because you're trying to make more money or because you're trying to get a better job. Those are key elements that are gonna help a man become. And as men, we don't get the luxury of having everyone tell us how great we are just for doing nothing. We know that, so there's no need to complain about it. Instead, as men, the best thing you could do is accept that's your reality and then move forward and then be better for it. Social media has so much to do oh, with God. how people look at dating these days. Like I Absolutely. literally, this girl on Facebook, I literally saw it this morning before I came here. And she's like, if you dealing with me, you know I have a kid. You should just know, I shouldn't have to ask you for money. You should just give it to me. You know I have responsibilities. <laughs> that guys were going crazy in the comments, and, but she was dead serious. When did we get to the point where we're not even in a committed relationship, but for some reason the man is responsible for taking care of you and someone else's child and all this other stuff and I just feel like it's this big fairy tale world that that a lot of women kind of live in where they feel like if they end up with someone who's not their sponsor or taking care of them or you know letting them live this soft life as everybody's saying they feel like they're settling and it's like you're not exactly settling you're just you're living a reality are you down for one dollar margaritas dollar margaritas you don't think are you unsure? Go yeah. for it. Boom! I'm sorry. Boom! But it's I'd be interested in talking more. All right, then why'd you press the button? I feel really bad because, like, I did like him so a lot. So why did you press the button? To not leave my options open. Go ask Xavier if he would like to come back. Oh. I'm with you than the other guys. Okay. Appreciate that. <laughs> I do have to hit the button, though. Yeah. 
I don't, That's fair. I don't play second chances. That's fair. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that was cold. I just want to say this because it's really been on my mind lately. I have nothing against the plain Jane females. You know, and what I mean by that, like the females who doesn't go out, the female who doesn't like get their makeup done, the female who doesn't really get their hair done often. The plain giant females, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't have nothing against y'all, but why is it so hard for us pretty girls to come across a decent guy? It just seemed like all the guys, the good guys always, like, cuff the plain giant females. And I feel like... <laughs> Did this guy just read my mind? Because he said everything I was thinking without saying a word and it was amazing because i gotta tell you when i first saw the original clip it was a lot of things that i really wanted to say but i wanted to make sure that i didn't just go in uh, but this right here sums it up perfectly couldn't have done a better job of it myself shouts out to this guy right here he captured what i'm sure some people out there were thinking when they saw this clip perfectly without having to ever even open his mouth up <laughs> roll the next clip yeah. Okay, if men don't want a woman that's been passed around, what make y'all think that we want a man that's been passed around? I'm gonna answer this young lady question because I get tired of people trying to rationalize this, trying to make this make sense when it's simple, when it's common sense. Y'all already know. And this is coming from somebody who don't give a d Well, first of all, men don't get passed around. <laughs> we do the passing around. It's like y'all want things to be the same so bad, and it's not. The quicker y'all accept that, the faster we can get, get the off this topic. And what makes us think a woman wants a guy that's been passed around? Because y'all show us every single day. Look at the celebrities y'all chase. Look at the ladies, man. Y'all literally go after the guys that... This is common sense, bro. Y'all show us. This is why... Bro, I'm done explaining this, bro. Can we, can we move? Did you guys know if you don't have sex for one year, you revert your born-again virgin? No, you're not. Yeah, no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. Stop. And prior to that year, it was in the thousands. Huh? Nothing. Hey, man. Hey, fellas, man. Listen, man. If your name ain't on that lease, do not cheat. I ain't saying I was cheating, but I was, you know, these females, man, it's a, it's a, it's a new generation of them, man. They free, they, they gorilla. City girls, you know what I'm saying? Kick me out the crib, man. I was paying the bills and have their goddamn rent, man. You feel what I'm saying? Still kick me out over a petty argument, which won't no argument. She would just think I was cheating. I wasn't. I was out with the fellas. You know what I'm saying? I was in Matt Main house, but she didn't want to hear that, though. So called the police, told me to get out. I ain't got no money. I had a few dollars, but I had to get to the storage unit and get the month free jank for a dollar down. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't sleeping on the streets. It's too cold. So, you know, I'm going to do what I do. But listen, man. Free, man. I'm a f store unit now, man. You know what I'm saying? All I'm going to say is, I hope you learned your lesson. Some men out there, they got to learn lessons the hard way. The one thing you do not do is move in with a woman if your name is not on that lease. In many cases, that can be a disaster waiting to happen. And unfortunately for him, he had to figure that out the hard way. Now look at him. He over here making videos on the storage unit side of the game with no bed, no pillow, no nothing because he didn't think things through. But we've seen this story far too many times, far too often. And at this point, if you're a man and you actually decide that you're gonna move in with a woman and you decide not to put your name on the lease, well, don't be surprised if an outcome like this occurs because this is nothing but a repeat. This ain't no new sitcom or new series or new episode. This is the same old, same old by men who we see just don't get it. And this might be a hard pill to swallow, but please understand, not every guy is always gonna figure things out. Some guys are just gonna keep on making mistake after mistake after mistake and thinking that they're gonna get a better outcome or result each and every time they keep doing the same thing. And it's just not gonna happen. Yes. Picking, I got it. Hold on, don't be picking now. Hold on, there you go. That's a 
surprise, baby. Yeah. What is this? Yeah. Did you pack my thing? Hell yeah, Hubert. He been cheating on me with Hubert. He's just a yeah, friend. Nah, he ain't no friend. You really want to nah, do this on no my birthday? I don't give a damn about your birthday. You been cheating on me with a dude named Hubert, I'll be damn. Pick up your stuff. It's already packed. Get your stuff and get the hell out of my house. Cheat on me with a dude named Hubert. Get the hell out. Anyway, guys, you already know. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down in the comments section. As always, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button to continue watching more content. And you already know, until next time.